Hey everyone, it's Mojax back in the DJ City UK lab. There is a brand new public beta version of Serato DJ Pro and Serato DJ Lite, which has just dropped. Now, I am naturally very excited about that because it contains BeatSource Link, and of course, I'm part of the BeatSource team, so that gets me going. But there's also some other rather cool stuff we need to look at as well. Let's get to it. Whilst it goes without saying that we're delighted to be working with all of our different software partners for BeatSource Link, there's no doubt that Serato integration was very high up on our list of priorities. A hugely popular platform with open format DJs, at DJ City we have a relationship with the New Zealand based company which goes back many years, and we know that our network of DJs around the world do as well. It's been the most requested integration since we first announced the service. So yes, we're very happy to be able to offer BeatSource Link compatibility in the new public beta versions of Serato DJ Pro 2.4 and Serato DJ Lite version 1.4. This means both beginners and seasoned pros now have access to Link in their software of choice. Serato have been working with streaming services for quite some time already, so it was a given that the integration would be smoothly done. You head into the preferences, library and display, enable streaming services, and then log into your BeatSource Link account. You can also access the 30 day free trial from there if you haven't subscribed yet and want to test out the service. Once activated, in the sidebar you have a new BeatSource section where you'll find both your own playlists and those from the BeatSource curation team. In the build I've been using, the curated playlists aren't showing up yet, but this is a very early version and they'll be there soon. Another thing you may notice is the new Crate Plus button above the crates. This allows you to build new crates of link tracks within the software. What's extra cool is that these new crates are synced back to your BeatSource account as playlists, so you can continue to edit or add to those on the BeatSource site itself later on. If you're wondering how to search for files on Link as well as your local files, that's simply done by clicking the small BeatSource icon next to the search box, then you'll get results from both places. Actually playing tracks is the same as working with local files. Loading speed will depend on your connection, but the whole track is cached, so if you were to lose connection whilst playing a track, playback will not be affected. Analysis can be done live when you load a track, but it can also be done in batches as you would with local files. Beat grids, as well as other metadata like hot cues and saved loops, is stored on your computer, so the next time you load the same track from Link, the process will be faster. Speaking about things being saved to your computer, the unique offline storage locker used by BeatSource and Beatport Link is not present within Serato software yet. It is on the way though, it's important to remember this is only a beta version at this time. Also in this new beta is support for Beatport Link, our sister service, and this all works in exactly the same way, so you can test out either or both services in this version depending on what kind of music you like to play. As I already mentioned, the new Link functionality isn't the only thing in this new beta. In Serato DJ Pro you have a new option in Preferences, Make Audio Available to Other Applications. You'll need to install an extra application to make this work, Virtual Audio Cable on Windows and I Show You Audio Capture on Mac, but when you do, with that option enabled, you have a clean feed of your master output from Serato DJ Pro, which can be taken into other software. The obvious candidate for that is streaming software like OBS Studio, if you want to stream and DJ with the same computer. I tested that on both Windows and Mac and it was a straightforward, seamless experience. It's worth noting though, that whilst I Show You is free on OS X, the virtual audio cable on Windows is not, with only a time-limited trial version available for free. And finally, there's a new option in both Serato DJ Lite and Pro, which I've publicly been asking Serato to implement for a long time, the ability to route the master output of your Serato audio device to your computer speakers. That means you can hook up a controller or native mixer and monitor the output through, say, your laptop with no extra speakers required. Perfect not only for beginners, but also professionals on the move. It doesn't disable the regular outputs of your device either, so could in theory be used as an extra output on top of your regular ones. Very handy stuff. So there you go, a first look at the new versions of Serato DJ Pro and Serato DJ Lite. Putting aside my obvious excitement about getting BeatSource and Beatport Link in there, I'm also really into these other two big headline features. The idea now that you've got this virtual audio output from Serato DJ Pro that you can feed into OBS or a similar streaming app, and who knows elsewhere? I'm sure there are lots of potential things that could be done with that virtual audio output. So for me, that's very interesting. And I'm really pleased to see the ability to play now your master out through your laptop or your desktop speakers. For me, that's been a big one. I've been asking for that with Serato DJ Lite for a long time. It just opens things up for beginner DJs with their first controller. They might get home and suddenly realize they need to get some kind of speakers as well, which they may not have. 
But of course, it's gonna be useful for everybody, whether you're on the road or just in the studio, you just wanna hook up real quick and don't want to attach speakers and get things all hooked up. You can just do it in a very simple fashion. So that's a big upgrade for me. Now, the usual caveat supply here, this is a public beta version. None of this new stuff is finished in there. You shouldn't trust this version live. Obviously, a lot of us around the world aren't actually playing out live at the moment, except on live streams. So, you know, maybe this is a great time to get into beta testing software and trying out new features. But yeah, don't expect everything to be fully baked right now. If you're looking for that, wait for the final release. Thank you for watching today. Make sure you're subscribed for all our future tips, tricks, and product reviews. I'll see you soon.